Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Sunday so it's time for a hug. So we're working out of the 100 hugs by Chris Riddell and today's hug is going to be the dragon hug. So this will be a fairly quick hug I hope. <laughs> so I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera and we're just going to get started right away. I'm going to do a blue and a red dragon. So I'm going to do an ice and a fire. So let's start with some nice aquatic blue icy colors. So I'm going to start with this one, I think. Um, yeah, no, that's the darkest. I want the lightest one, which would be this one, I think. Uh, yeah. So how is everyone today? I hope you're all having a good day. And this one. So I've got the three different greens here. I might add a couple of different ones into the mix as well, but I might add a darker blue as well. These are all green blues. So we're going to color this fellow here. So I'm just going to base color him. Of course, you guys can't see that very well. Let's turn that on. No, that's not going to help either. Might switch over to the other camera so you can see it a little bit better. Of course, it is Sunday, so it is going to be a little bit noisier today because, you know, the family's home and all that fun stuff. I got chicken feet. These dragons have chicken feet. All right. And this is just the base coat, the base color. We'll deepen that as we go. This is just to get a little bit of color on the page so it makes blending a little bit easier. Of course this paper isn't the greatest, we already know that, so I'm trying not to put too much pressure on the pencil. Actually, I'm going to switch you over to the main camera here so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. I'll move you in. There. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you. these clamps holding the book open, but they're in my way. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we're just putting down, it's uh, number 29, which is malachite. For the main part, majority of the dragon. Like I said, I'm going to be adding some blues and everything else. This is going to be the ice dragon. But we're just going to start off with this color. I know the ice dragon is usually done in blues, not greens. 
and when I'm done, hopefully, um, if it goes the way I want it to, <laughs> which sometimes this things just don't, you end up going with it. Um, but hopefully by the time I'm done, it'll be more blues than greens. All right, now we're going to take our next color, which is aqua blue. And we're going to go in to those deeper areas. And like I said, I will probably grab other blues as well. This is just our medium color. Excuse my husband and his cussing if you could hear it. Hopefully you can't. <laughs> So ev thank you everyone that came to the stream yesterday. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys did too. The pantry was awesome to color. And of course I'm still coloring it, but excuse me just one second. Sorry about that. Need more coffee, I think. throat is all gravelly right now. I don't know why. I want to uh, send a shout out to one of my biggest supporters and she has been a huge supporter the entire time I've been on YouTube. Uh, so happy birthday Penny and thank you very much for all of your support in all of this fun stuff of creating a channel and creating a Facebook community and you know all of that I thank you so much for all of your support and for all of your encouragement quite honestly guys without Penny I probably wouldn't have a channel um, when things went bad with the other channel I uh, was really close to just saying, oh, okay, well, that's the end of that. But uh, Penny encouraged me and, um, you know, had the confidence in me that I didn't, and I thank her for that. All right, I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit. So, without her, there probably wouldn't be a channel. <laughs> I'm going to get into these small areas down here on the leg. I didn't, the, sh the pencil wasn't dull, but it wasn't sharp enough to get into these little tiny details. And that's why I sharpened it. I have a tendency to really, really prefer a good sharp point, especially when I'm getting into these smaller areas. These dragons have funky feet. last night was not a fun evening. The neighbors decided it was a good thing to set off um, mortars every few hours. 
which, you know, as soon as I get my dog all settled down from it, they'd set off another one. So we spent most of the night uh, comforting the dog. I don't know why they decide that mortars are a good thing to set off since they're illegal here in Oregon, but they do. They think they're fun. Well, they're not fun for people with animals that are afraid of them. And they're definitely not fun in the middle of a sub suburb area. I don't think they should be allowed. But the cops don't do anything about it, so... You know, if they're not going to get in trouble for it, then they're just going to keep doing it. But yeah, that's what uh, our evening was. Of course, thank goodness they stopped at about 10 o'clock, so, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, so we could actually go to bed. <laughs> not have the dog freaking out while we're trying to sleep. Alright, sorry if I'm turning the book too much, but in order to get to these small areas and still have you guys see what I'm doing, <laughs> I kind of need to turn the page. Well, at least he has a good time with his friends. He's always giggling at something. He's always giggling about something. So I'm just going to sharpen this again. And like I said, it's not a completely dull pencil, but I'm going into an area where there's some really fine details. So I need that really fine tip on the pen, on the pencil, I should say. So there we go. And of course, I'm just following along the lines that the that Chris has left for us. Um, you know, this isn't a coloring book, so he's already shaded all the areas and drawn in all the areas that uh, you'd want to shade. So, which is awesome. Makes things so much easier. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it makes it a little more difficult. Alright, now we're going into the wings. And I'm just using the side of the pencil, keeping a sharp edge, a sharp point area onto the page there and just going over those lines that the artist has given us. Like that. Alright, now we're going to take a little bit of a deeper blue. Uh, it's too green. I want blue. I want blue, blue, blue. Alright, so we're going to use some Dodger Blue. And we're going to go right over top there. Like so. 
tell. Hmm, there seems to be stuff. So I'm just getting a little bit deeper blue in those shadow areas. Not going too far into the medium blue. Just getting that shadow area a little bit darker. And hopefully I'm still on camera. I think that's everything that we wanted to do in the blue. Now we're going to take this one here which is a dark sea green and we're just going to lightly shade over the areas that we wanted that medium malachite color. And I'm not doing everywhere, I'm just doing off of the blue in the deeper areas. Like so. Keep on forgetting to look up to see if the camera is in where I want it to be. I think I need a little bit more of that Dodger blue here on the face. well. And then for the chest, we're going to take this powder blue. the chest area. And hopefully stay in the camera. This is just his belly scales, the under scales. Then we're going to take a sky blue and we're going to do his shadows.
now. And up here. Like so. And up here in his ear as well. And then I'm going to take that powder blue again. And we're going to give him a little ice crystal breath. Because he's an ice dragon. There we go. Okay, so that's the ice dragon all done. And I'll go through and I'll put all those back later. I know I'm terrible. I don't put things back when I'm done with them. So now I need some reds. So let's start with... I think we're going to start with number 63. And this is in the orange range. And just for the under coating. Just like the blue dragon, we will be adding some reds and yellows into this as well so that it's more fiery looking. Uh, I forgot to do the blue dragon's toenails. Oh, and I missed his toes, too. I completely missed his toes, and this is why I don't put my pencils back right away. Because sometimes you find that you've missed things. And you gotta fix it. I do it all the time. <laughs> I'm constantly finding things that I've missed. This is the most difficult part because it's on the seam. And I'm not going to go all the way up his wings. I'm just going to go partially up his wings. Same with his arms, I think. Just going to go partially down his arms. Uh, and up his neck. And because I'm going to add more, I'm going to add some yellow to that. I think. His leg there and his hand here. Okay, so now we're going to take some yellow and we're going to use canary yellow and we're going to work up off of here. And we're going to 
do his belly yellow. He's a yellow belly. <laughs> now this is just the base coat. Once we start adding the deeper colors, it will come together a little bit more. And it'll start looking more like a fire dragon. So the first thing we're doing is we're just getting that base coat down. Like that. Now we're going to move into the deeper reds. And we're going to start with... Um, no, I don't think I want to start with dark red yet. Uh, light coral. And we're going to start down here on his tail. I'm not, I'm trying not to do too much on that area because it is tearing. Uh, so I'm going to grab the uh, strong red. Yeah, unfortunately there's a crease there, so it's really hard to color on that spot. All right, now we're going to take some of this and put it in his toes. Just trying to see where where I'm going here. There's some all sorts of little details. That are combined in an area, so makes it a little bit harder to see because of hit the lines. But once we get past the deep, deeper details down here on the legs and tail, it should be all right, because this is tail, this is tail. Okay, and we're gonna take our deep red and we're gonna fill in that tail area there so that it matches up to this one here. All right. Then we're going to take some red and do his toes and his feet. scales here. I'm going to take that off. See if I can get this to fit in there better. No, I don't want to remove the page. thinner piece of paper, maybe. Maybe use a thinner piece of paper. It might help. There. 
that's better it's not as stable but it's at least giving me less of a edge if that makes any sense. All right, now I'm going to sharpen up this deep red. So this is strong red. And we're just going to work our way up the dragon here. Doing the strong red in those deepest areas. sure I get as many of those as I can and down here on his scales and then we're gonna forgot to put the yellow on his arms so we're gonna grab that yellow again it's canary yellow When I'm done, the yellow, most of the yellow is going to be an orangey color, so. All right, now we're going to move up into the yellow areas with the light coral. I think that's the right one, yeah. Going down the inside of the wings here. And getting those all fired up. So I'm going to take this deep red or strong red and I'm just going to do those edges and I'm just going to draw down the lines of the wings. take that dark salmon which is a lightish orange color and we're just going to blend that in a little bit so this is our base color the color we started with And then I'm going to take a bit of that canary yellow, I'll finish his belly a little bit, and then I'm just going to gently go over top of some of that orange and red. Just giving it a few bits of highlights there. I 
just the blue fella's hand here. And I need the strong red here. going to go back in with the light coral. The light coral in this set is uh, pinky red. It's not quite a pure red, it's more of a pinky red, which works out just fine. And then we're going to take that yellow again. Oh, this page isn't laying down right. And then we're going to take that deep red. And do those deeper areas. take that little bit of orange again and just a little bit of it coming up into here like so and then we're going to do the same thing for the arms we're going to take that deep red and hopefully you can see it and go into those deeper areas a spot. And we're going to take that yellow. going to darken up all the yellow areas here. Like so. And then on his face, I'm going to take the light coral. Well, let's start with his ears. beard. Now we're going to go in with our deep red. doing our deepest areas here. And then we're going to take our yellow again 
and we're going to blend some of that in to the red, making it a little bit orange. close by where that yellow is, darkening up that yellow. Like that. Then we're going to take some black we're going to do his nails. And we're going to do this fella's nails. And I missed a spot. here and then his nails down here Try to make sure I get Uh, dragon's feet are creeping me out a little. <laughs> They're chicken feet. All right. Now for the fire dragon's smoke, we're going to start with the canary yellow. going to go into it with an orange. Let's do tangerine. And we're going to bring the orange up into about halfway here. take our strong red and we'll go up Now for the floor. And 
and we've got some dim gray here because I'm going to cover this like it's a cave floor because we all know dragons hang out in caves. And then we're going to take our black and we're going to get right under their shadow areas. Get those a little bit darker. Like so. little bit lighter gray here. Just to blend it all together. Oh, and I missed the black under his part. Missed it under his tail. All right. And there we have our fire and ice dragons for our hug today. And this, of course, is hug number 87. So let's grab a pen. And of course, I've lost my other pen, so I'm going to have to use a glitter pen. So today is November 14th, Fourteenth, 2021, and this is hug number 87. Woohoo! We have approximately 14 hugs left. All right, guys, so that is the end of that. Um, there is our fire and ice dragon all finished up there. And of course, tomorrow's hug is the alien hug. I think that's what they are. They look like aliens. The Martian hug. That's what we're going to call it, Martian hug. So, of course, I hope that you will join me for that tomorrow during Collection Mania Monday. And, of course, on tomorrow's Collection Mania Monday, we will be looking at the You Buy colored pencils. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the hug. Of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, hitting that like button does help my channel out quite a bit on getting people over to see me. So make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, always remember to relax, color, and stay safe. Until tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye for now.